The vestibular system detects the whole body in movement and balance. It's governed by the inner ear and your fluids and your semicircular canals. When a child is out of balance, it could be possibly due to this imbalance in your inner ear. The vestibular system also governs body awareness and where your body is in space, how fast you're moving, accelerating, decelerating. When you are in movement, the swing helps balance out your semicircular canals in your inner ears, which helps kids learn how to... Kids with ADHD or autism want to be independent. Try Goalie, the visual scheduler that guides them through routines so you don't have to. Goalie, reinventing routines. The understanding of their awareness of their body and where they are in space. So a lot of children who have difficulty with movement or balance, they might trip a lot or fall a lot or may not be aware of where their body is in space. When you put them on a swing, it helps them be able to tolerate and have less difficulties with movement. A lot of children enjoy linear swinging, which is back and forth movement. And then a lot of children also enjoy spinning. So if you were to spin the swing, that also helps um, initiate some of that movement in your inner ears to help with balance as well. After providing Odin with sensory input throughout the day, he then showed more interest in this swing. We didn't Though he's out. on the swing, he still wants to be on his stomach for a more secure position. When you spin a child on a swing, you want to spin them in one direction and then spin them in the other direction so that you don't actually make them more dizzy. If a child ever complains of feeling nauseous or feeling dizzy, then you need to stop the swing because their bodies will let them know how much they can tolerate. You can have a child sitting on the swing, lying down, or even on their side, and this helps provide different movement for the fluid in the inner ear. For families living with ADHD or autism, preventing meltdowns is everything. Goalie reduces stress by enabling kids to complete routines independently. Goalie, reinventing routines. Emma is a typical child who has joined us in this activity. We wanted to show an example of how these activities are also appropriate for typical children. Jumping on the trampoline here, this is providing deep pressure from the kid's feet all the way up to their hands, as well as movement for the inner ear. This is both a vestibular and a proprioception activity at the same time. Since there's more than one child on the trampoline, they're both holding on to the bar for safety. You're gonna bear walk, okay? Ready? Put your hands on the mat. On your marks. Get set, go! Go, 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 go! Turn around and go back! This shows around, the children in more of an angled go, 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 go. position, again, go, moving go, go. that fluid in the inner go, go. ear, increasing that body awareness and balance. Did you win? Go, Tyler, go! You both win. How about all three of you win? <laughs> it's always great to make a sensory activity fun so the children are playing, not really realizing that they're at the same time working. Can you try that, Odin? Yeah. Nice job! This time, can you crawl backwards like a crab? Some children are very fearful of movement and giving them the opportunity to explore different forms of movement again helps with that processing of vestibular. <gasps> can you crab walk like this? Okay, let's see if Tyler can do it. Sit down. Okay, can you crab walk backwards? Let's go, Tyler, go, come on. Tyler has a difficult time motor no planning the particular okay. crab walk position, walk so we again. move to a simpler go. crawling position. Go, 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 Tyler, go. Go, Tyler, go. Good job, give me five.